Hi, it's Patty, and I'm going to do a quick video because uh, my birthday is in a few hours. I was born 104 a.m. on April 26, 1973, and um, I was just doing a lot of thinking today and thinking about how humans suck at communication, and so many of us keep things inside, and it really retards our growth. It really prevents us from from learning about what we're supposed to be learning about as humans living a human experience on this planet. So um, that's why I wanted to make this video because there are things that I want to talk about that I've experienced this past year and um, and I feel like they're important to talk about. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, the first thing that I want to discuss are some of the major life events that I've experienced during my 38th year on this planet. And um, I would have to say, without a doubt, that the most life-changing experience I had um, endured was losing my best friend in the world. Um, and yes, she was a dog. She but I loved her so much, and um, and losing her was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. So um, that changed everything in my life, everything, absolutely everything. I mean, her getting sick, and me caring for her, and um, me learning about how to take care of my own dogs, my other dogs, better because of her and how to share this information of how dogs um, can live healthy lives. I mean, it was all because of her. I would have never known about that without her being in my life. Um, and I've never made a video about Lucky, um, but both Lucky and I celebrated our birthday on the same day. I never knew her real birthday. But, um, She uh, would be 15, and um, so anyway, um, I haven't really talked about her much since she passed away, and I haven't, you know, about six months, it took me about six months to really get over her, losing her. I mean, she passed away on June 30th of 2011, and it wasn't till like, Christmas time that, um, I really, I, I stopped crying every day. I would say, though, every, you know, from when she passed away up through, up until, like, late December, early January, um, I cried every day, multiple times, every day. And, um... I mean, I just I just let myself cry, and I haven't cried about her in a long time. Um, you know, I, I sometimes cry about her, maybe once a week, but not as often as I used to. And um, so, yeah, we used to celebrate our birthdays together um, for the past 14 years. And if she was still with me today, it would be 15. And um, So, one thing that I was extremely grateful for, and this changed everything in my life, was the fact that I was with her at the very end. And um, Lucky gave me the best gift ever. Um, and that was, well, first of all, the gift of her life, the gift of her loyalty, and... Um, the gift of unconditional love, which is something that is quite rare for humans to um, to give. I think it's natural for animals um, because they they don't have the thinking mind to interfere with reasons why they cannot love, reasons why they can't express 
how they truly feel. Um, humans are so encompassed with fear, fear of being rejected, fear of, 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 of losing whatever they think they have. Dogs, cats, animals don't do that, so they just love. That's all they can do, they love from their essence. And that's why I think we, we are so attracted to animals, because they don't have the thinking mind, the ego, to interfere with that. And um, Lucky loved me. I mean, every day with her was such a gift. And um, even at the end, it was a gift because I don't think I could have um, made the decision to end her life. I mean, I always told myself if it got bad enough, I would. But um, the way that she crossed over was just, I mean, she it's like she knew. And I mean, I knew she was sick but she was acting normal, eating normal, wagging her tail, giving me hugs and kisses all the way until the last day of her life. And then just one morning she stopped eating. And um, I knew something was wrong. And um, I went to work and I came home. I remember I was supposed to have band practice that night. and. Um, I told the guys in the band I, I couldn't practice because Lucky was not feeling good. And uh, so I stayed with her. And she didn't eat dinner and she stopped drinking. And she just wanted to rest. Okay. So she just wanted to rest, and I stayed with her the entire night. Um, and I gave her Reiki, which is just a, a type of, of loving healing from the universe. And just sat with her, told her how much I loved her. And, um, and about five in the morning, her breathing slowed. I called. Dr. Bernstein, my homeopathic veterinarian, and he suggested a remedy for her that would help her. And I was with her. During her last breath, and I saw her last breath, and I mean, it was just beautiful because she just crossed over and she knew she had to, she had to leave me. She was tired and she, her body needed a break and, um, and, and Chuck, my ex-boyfriend was with me and he helped me bury her in our backyard and, um, so and she, I, I see her every day back there, and, um, oh my gosh, this video is getting long, but I'm sorry for all the crying. Anyway, losing her was, um, very, uh, life-changing for me, because I had never loved and felt as much love from another living being and had to experience loss and, and, and the idea of never seeing them again. I remember when Lucky was first diagnosed with being sick, I was so angry and I remember trying to bargain with God, you know, don't take her away from me or at least make me sick so I can go with her. 
And I realize now that that was just not the wisest thing to say. But um, believe it or not, I am a lot stronger now. That's thunder. And, um, and my life has changed since then. So it's changed in so many ways because I am now able to approach life in a different way things really don't bother me as much as they used to I don't get upset by little things in life um, I try to go with the flow more and um, there there are still a lot of things I need to work on this whole communication thing is something I, I need to work on I'm not good at communicating with people um, speaking from my heart that's really what I want to be able to do speak from my heart not from my mind. Um, I'd like to think with my heart and uh, appreciate love with my mind because I think that's the best thing my mind can do. So, um, so that's something I'm hoping I'm going to do better this year is is communicate more effectively and and love more effectively. So, um, with that said, this video is already 11 minutes long. I think I'll stop it here. That's, I think, the best thing I could have said for my last year of being 38 years old. And I'm hoping that my 39th year is going to be amazing. Um, I'm hoping that I can, again, connect with other people, share with other people what I know, and hopefully they can share with me what they know and together we can make this world a beautiful place. Um, I also want to say that my new puppy, Lucy, um, you know, one of the reasons why I adopted her was because we all shared a birthday together. Lucy um, is turning one on my birthday, so it's really our birthday. So Lucky would have been 15, Lucy's turning one, and, and I'm going to be 39. My last year of being able to officially say I'm 30-something, I guess. So, anyway, thanks for watching my video. I'm violent past the candle shrine that burns on every night for someone. She lets herself go like an angel in the snow. She lays down on her back, and down on her back she goes. Take me. Take me